Even if I'm going through suffering, I still continue to pray and hold on to God. Amen. Because it gives me to my life and it gives me the strength that I need right now. Amen. God is with me. Amen. It's not easy to say those things, but I can remember this woman as a woman of perseverance. Isn't it true that we have a problem with the Lord? These days, but blessed are those who know how to persevere Amen. in their faith. Amen. Because they will always have the strength they need to continue in their day to day journey in the sense of being. Hopefully, they will experience the other. We are here because we continue to persevere. Amen. 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 Okay? Now, R stands for renewal. In our second reading, we listen to you. the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 to 5. And there's something interesting when, when the Lord said, I make all things new. Meaning to say, if we are with God, we always experience what we call renewal, newness of life. And that's the meaning of Easter. When we think, when St. John Paul the Second said, we are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song, we to say, Amen. we are all happy people. people of renewal. We are. Because God never gives up on us. Amen. Diba? 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 Amen. Many times, it is we who go to asking for forgiveness. But God always wants us to be renewed. In Amen. In the we want us to be renewed. In the we want us to be renewed. Amen. Kaya na, yun yung reason, eh, bakit hindi tayo pwede mag-usta sa isang tao na wala ka ng chance. You'll be like that forever. Because even God does not give up on us. We are a work in progress. And so there will always be an opportunity for us to be renewed only if we really allow God to change our minds. Yeah? Amen. This time that like, to celebrate that anniversary, we can thank the Lord for a particular grace. Lord, begin to go up and we are particular grace. Now my experience with it will renewal. For example, if for quite some time we have been affected because of the pandemic. It's not easy to recover from the pandemic. I know some people are saying that parang hindi na yung nawala yung fervor ko sa pagtalasan. Parang nawala yung spirituality ko. Kasi may immersed by some crisis. So ask the Lord, grant me that newness of spirituality. Parang bang Lord, saan naman ako nagbabang ay pagbabangin na na may experience ko sa buhay niya. To continue to pray with with the with faith in my heart. For example, in the family, kung may mga problema, mga kanyang mga analysis, mga anit, para bang kinasabi natin na unforeseen circumstances of our attentions, there is always a chance for us to be renewed, to change our attitudes, to become more understanding, more patient, more loving. Amen. Renewal. What's the next letter? A. A stands for acceptance. We accept the love of God. In the gospel, we just reflected on John chapter 13, verses 31 to 35. And in the gospel, interestingly, Jesus said, You will know, or they will know, that you are my disciples if you love one another. Love one another as I have loved you. Jesus gives us his love and we accept that love. The moment we accept the love of God, we experience transformation because God's love is so powerful Amen. that it can transform our hearts. Can you imagine when I was giving a retreat to a group of catechists? May natilala ko sa catechist na sabi niya, you know Father, I am doing this particular ministry for many years now. I'm helping the prison ministry of the diocese. So every month they go to the the San Prisco, no, sa Cebu, just to preach the word of God sa mga mga preso. Na para sa kanila wala nang wala nang hope. 